Oh, good stretch. Hey guys, how the frig's it going today? It's, um, I don't even know what day it is. I think it's Thursday. It's supposed to be in live chat, but some dummy broke stuff, so I'm on live calls. Still doom and gloom outside. Freaking raining like a son of a goof out. Whatever. Made some coffee last night, though. I made some coffee with cinnamon for uh, this morning. Have it. Oh man, the stupid coffee machine keeps turning. I gotta figure out how to like disable the timer on this thing so that it stays lit for longer than two hours. Anyway, it's 11 o'clock. Came downstairs to restock my coffee and rock a piss. So I'm gonna do that right now. But just restock my coffee and I'm gonna rock a piss. So I took out some chicken for tonight, some boneless, skinless. I like it because it's low on calories and low on fat. And it's also still frozen. Frig sakes. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, I'll just leave it in the sink for a bit and let that thaw out because I want to make sure it's a nice thaw for tonight. Check on that in a couple hours. This is complete horse shit. I don't know if it's still raining outside, but should I put my garbage out? I should put my garbage out. All right, I'm going to slap on a jacket and go put my bin at the side of the road because it's uh, garbage day. And I farted. Now I just gotta remember to go out there and grab that can after. Oh man. Sucks, I really wanted to go biking. But I guess tonight will be another weightlifting night. Yup. I'll run the same routine that I ran on the weekend. Why not? It's fun. But last night after I shut down the video, I looked at my watch and went, man, I'm really shy on. I'm freaking calories burned today. What the hell am I gonna do? And then behind me over there, you see those weights on the ground just below the cat ledge. They're two 40 pound dumbbells, the, the, the hex kind. And what I do is I pick these up and carry them by my side and farmers walk them. And holy crap, will that get your heart rate going? Now, if you don't have that and you want a farmer's walk, you can, you have like sturdy bags or something. You can even um, just add weight to your body. Like if you have a good sturdy backpack, fill it with books or something anything heavy that you know won't rip the straps or wreck the backpack or anything but you know heavy enough where you're adding more weight to your body and then just do what i'm doing right now pace your room the adding more weight to your body means it's got to work harder to stabilize and it's going to be a harder walk than just pacing back and forth but what i like about the farmer's walk is you uh i don't know if i can show you yeah yeah i got an idea so literally you come over here you headbutt the kitty grab the weights at your side, you don't want them touching you, you want your shoulders up and then you just walk. A little bit of a farmer's walk. I don't know why I got the term farmer's walk. I guess farmers maybe carry bales of hay like this. And you want to keep control of the weight, stabilize your core, and make sure you're able to carry it. And this here will gri build great grip strength because right now I'm actually losing my grip. So I gotta keep on tightening my grip and focusing on that, which is gonna build forearm strength, and build shoulder strength because you gotta stabilize your shoulders, especially on the turns. And it's going to build core strength because you've got to stabilize your core because your body's constantly fighting to uh, be compressed by the extra weight. And let me tell you, this will get your heart rate up too. Yeah, sitting at a buck 15. So I literally did that for 30 minutes last night. I had farmer's walk. For about a minute and a half, I had my watch set on, uh, uh, had to use the stupid uh, high intense interval training mode, but I had it set to uh, 90 seconds and then 60 seconds. So I do 90 seconds of, of um, the farmer's carry. Then when she buzzed, I dropped the weight, 60 seconds of pacing, and then 90 seconds of farmer, 60 seconds of pacing. So it was about, two and a half minutes per rep per lap and i ran that for 30 minutes and yeah i ended up burning like almost 300 calories doing that so that's not too bad that's probably 
My most effective calorie burn method so far to date is the high intense interval training farmers carry. <laughs> so at 10 calories per minute, like that's biking. I never hit that. Best I've done on biking is about 8.9. And weightlifting, the best I've done there is about 7.8 to 8.2. <sighs> I swallowed a bug. I must have snuck in when I went out to put the garbage out. So yeah, farmer's carries. I know a lot of people who do them, but they actually have the actual farmer's rods. Um, literally, it looks like uh, looks like one of these guys, a barbell, but in the center here, you have a handle cut out. So you load your weights on the end, and then you grip it, and you carry it like a briefcase, and you walk with it, and you can really get some serious weight onto them. Uh, the ones my buddies have, they're a little different. They made them out of railroad ties. They um, cut them down to size, installed some handles on them, like uh, with some metal rebar, and then used I don't know, some sort of foam and hockey tape to build a handle on it. And on the ends, there's loading pins so you can add more weight. Now, just picking the the uh, the ties up with nothing on them, they weigh about 60 pounds a piece. And then so far, they've had over, they've had three uh, 345s on one, so 270 pounds on top of the 60 pounds, so 330 pounds on them per. And uh, they, they do those, but they just, they'll go to like one end of the yard pick them up and then walk them down and then drop them, turn around, bend over, pick them back up and then walk them back. And they're, it's, it's pretty sweet. It's I couldn't do that much weight though. 330 pounds per hand, holy crap. <clears throat> Best I did was uh, two, uh, 145 per side. So 90 plus the, uh, the 60, so a buck 50 per. And let me tell you, you're about three quarters of the way there one third of the way there, whatever. You're, you're almost there and your body is just like, bro, everything's about to compress. Like you feel it in your spine, you feel it in your core. You're like really, really tightening up, holding your breath, trying to make yourself as thick as possible to be able to absorb the, oh, it's brutal. Farmer's carries, they're fun. I thought about building my own farmer carry, but you know what? I don't really want to get into the strongman stuff too much. I just want to body build. Anyway, I better get back upstairs. Work's calling. Let's see if live chat's fixed because I really don't feel like taking calls today. That's a tomorrow thing. All right, peace to frig out. All right, everybody, it's lunchtime. I haven't eaten anything all morning. I just had a protein shake to mix with the ashwagandha root and maca powder because holy crap, ashwagandha on its own is gross. Super gross. You don't want to do that. It's like drinking death. Um, oh, these are like my church socks. They're holy. Hmm, another hour or so out and those chickens will be thawed. That'll be nice. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do, so we're gonna, hmm, I don't know. I think I'm gonna make some eggs. Yeah, that sounds like a battle plan. We'll do some, we'll do an omelet of fashions. Why not? There we go. Eggs, yeah, some turkey. That cold cut shit I bought. Frig it, get the protein into you, boys. Holy shit, guys, it's like four o'clock and uh, I still have a bit of time left before I'm done. But that's okay, I'm just gonna bring some of my dishes downstairs here because I have this bad tendency of leaving stuff on my side desk. Because that's fun. You're looking at me through, through a blue wall. Do do. Do do. Do 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 Anyway, on my past breaks, I've been literally coming down here and instead of actually vlogging, I've been. Uh, Dicking around with farmer walking like I showed you on the first break um, Another thing I've been doing is Military pressing because it's fun and uh, check it Somebody added more weight. That's right five more pounds per side boys. We're up to 35 pounds per side 70 pounds total 35 pound bar 105 military press. Let's get her done. So it actually looks like it uh, got a little bit nicer out there. It's not raining anymore. As you can see, the roads are all clearing up and the birds are out picking the worms out of the ground. Stupid friggin' birds. So, looks like we're getting some, uh, some blooms. Look at that. We've got some little nublets coming out of the friggin' plant life. Sons of bitches are gonna grow leaves and things. Ain't that pretty. Yeah. Mmm. Spring. It's a thing. Skeetily dee! Hey, shithead. What are you doing? Just having a sit? You're such a weird animal. Keep getting those gains and soon I'll have two of these bad boys on there. And I got the two right over there just waiting to be used. That's another thing guys with farmers walking. If you want to, if you don't have like dumbbells, but you have plates, pinch gripping the plates and trying to farmers walk. Wow, is that gonna burn the forearms? That'll be even more, more effective. 
then using dumbbells that you can hook grip, pinch gripping, pain in the ass. You guys remember that pinch grip block? I didn't even know that was gonna happen. Anyway, remember that pinch grip block that I built back in the day? And that loading pin? Oh, I just walked into it. <clears throat> I don't know what the hell's going on. I've been farting by, like really bad all morning. Oh, it's because I had eggs. Every time I have eggs, I get farty McSharty. Uh, that's why, that's why. Yeah, that pinch grip block. Doing that with plates, then walking around with it, trying not to drop them. You pull that off with some heavy weights later on, you're gonna have one hell of a freaking grip going. Hells yeah you will. After work tonight, battle plan, come down here, rip some reps, and then just friggin' make some chicken and eat. Huh. Probably gonna go out to the garage and take all the crap in the corner there out and clear off the uh, table of all the weightlifting stuff. I like to get, you know that, I don't know what it's called. It's like, got it in the garage, I hang tools off. It's like board with holes in it. Cork board, I guess, I don't know. Whatever, I'd like to get some of that so I can hang some hooks in the uh, living room and hang all the cable attachments off of it. My like lifting straps and my blood restriction bands and all that fun stuff. Just so I don't have them sitting on a table and I can sit them on like the wall. So when I need them, they're there. I can just take them off the hook, load them up and then put them back on the hook and have everything organized. Cause uh, I'm pretty sure this fitness lifestyle is not gonna end for me. I'm enjoying this too much. It's something that I can do on my own and with my equipment, I don't need anybody else around and it's only gonna get more and more expansive as I grow. Personally, what I like to do is, if I had the money for it, is uh, build a giant shed in the backyard and turn that into my outdoor gym, heat it with whatever, probably use like a propane stove or something or uh yeah propane stove would work or we can go oil or i'd go wood but you know insurance companies they get all friggin antsy fancy about wood so i would do something like propane or so like even in the winter i could trek back there i could use a blower to clear a path out to it then have my uh gym shed that'd be pretty sweet mind you if i had that right now i wouldn't be renting it out to anybody because holy crap but if i wanted to monopolize do some greasy stuff. Let me tell you, renting that out with all the friends that I have who are dying for the gym, who are just losing their mind at home, who are literally doing curls with two liter pop bottles filled with water and cement because they have no equipment whatsoever. Also, they're the reason why Walmart's got no dumbbells because they literally went in there and cleaned them out. Yeah, pretty bad. Even It's funny how in Kijiji, there's a, a cap barbell set I don't know if you guys ever seen this. Uh, Walmart car carries them, Canadian Tire carries them, uh, Sports Check carries them. These things are pieces of junk. Max capacity is 100 pounds. That's all I can carry. I've already talked about this. Um, that, that's where that bar, the one bar in the living room came from, the hollow bar. They go for about a bill 69.97 at Cambodian Tire. Same with Walmart. They're pretty cheap, 200 bucks max. There's one for sale on Kijiji right now. Dickhead wants 300 bucks for it and he knows like he posted the picture of it is posted from the Canadian Tire website with their asking price of the at the time 179 and he's like 300 bucks comes with all the weights slightly used not big enough for what I need like if somebody actually pays more than the retail value because they're sold out everywhere that's impressive but one thing I know for sure just behind me due to the uh, cost of weights and all that right now, I'm sitting on a mother freaking gold mine. Somebody would, would love to break into my house and steal my shit just because of the weights. I'm telling you, man, check your local stores. I bet you they're sold out too. I friggin' I bet you. Because all the muscle dummies are looking for ways to make gains now that the gyms are closed. And apparently they won't be reopening until probably June, July, so that sucks. Anyway, I think my break's over. Also, guys, I uh, finished off my, my yogurt here, so I cleaned out the container. I want to try something tonight when I make my uh, ice cream. I'm going to put some in that container and try and freeze it and see what happens. See if it actually freezes or if it turns into... Uh, just turns, <laughs> if it turns, stays like ice cream consistency. How much time do I have left on my break? I got four minutes. Um, you know what? I'm going to be a muscle dummy and... Where the hell's my shaker cup? I think it's downstairs. I seen you sneaking your head inside, you little nerd. I'm gonna make myself a pre-workout of creatine and revolution. Cause I wanna destroy my shit tonight. All right guys, just finished the workout and uh, 
Now it's time for my favorite part of the show, the time where I shove food in my face. Tonight we're having a very low calorie meal. We got 234 grams of seasoned chicken back there, seasoned with that Montreal steak or chicken spice. Some broccoli and some Brussels sprouts mixed together and one cup of rice. This entire meal combined is only a whopping 710 calories. That's it. 710 calories. I had more for lunch with my eggs and my turkey breast and my Greek yogurt. Fun times. All right, I'm gonna go drive this in my face. Holy crap, I'm still hungry. But you know what? I don't think it's raining out right now. Oh no, it's raining out. People are walking around with umbrellas. I was gonna tackle that freaking living room and move stuff out of there and put it in the garage until COVID's over and I can bring the shit over to my friend's house. But you know what? I think we're gonna stick with the original plan. Save that for the weekend. And what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna make some freaking ice cream. Cause I wanna see if that shit will freeze. So let's get some light on the subject. Get this thing open. Let's start making some ice cream. Alrighty, ice cream's made. I put some in this old Greek yogurt container. Gonna cap it, freeze it, see what happens to it. As for you, it's on nom time. Gotta love it. This whole freaking container. 275 calories. Lots of volume. Not a lot of energy. Fills you up. And that's about it. So, all right. Time to eat some ice cream. Peace. All right, it sounds like it's still raining out, but there's some things I gotta deal with. Number one, I gotta deal with the fact that I got a full bladder and I need to pee. And number two, we're gonna take the table and shit out to the garage anyway. Uh, they get wet, they can dry out there. No big deal. I don't know what the hell's going on, man. I don't know if it's Google or if it's Spotify or what's going on, but lately, like I, I'll tell the, the Google to play something on Spotify. Like I'll tell, I got a, a playlist called Good Tunes and it's literally like Breaking Benjamin and Avenged Sevenfold and just a bunch of like working out, get you right pumped, you know, that kind of music. And for the past, oh hell, I want to say the past year that I've been listening to that mix, every time I just, I always, all I ever had to say was, play my good tunes playlist on Spotify downstairs. And it knew right away to play my good tunes playlist from Spotify on downstairs. And it would play it. And downstairs is just the name I gave to the uh, speaker. What the frick is this? Whatever. Anyway, downstairs is just the name I gave to the speaker group down here. The one here, the one in the bathroom, and the one in the kitchen. Just so I could play tunes. So like when I'm uh, working on the, uh, the power rack, I have tunes in there. And when I'm showering, I have tunes in the bathroom. And when I'm... You know, whatever. I always have tunes available. That's what I wanted. Tunes in here, tunes in there, tunes everywhere. It's friggin' sweet. Alright. Grab this sea sucker. Okay, I gotta move this stupid ab machine out of the way. Alright. Okay. Let's get it over here in the open. Get this damn cable off of it from the stupid power pack. Alright. So, we'll just take this thing, fire it over the wall, like so. Nice. You know what, for the time being, I'm gonna fold up this ab coaster thing. Anyway, I got thinking about my predicament, and that predicament being the fact that uh, Spotify has just been flaking out, and I looked it up on, uh, on Google, to see if anybody else is bitching, moaning, and complaining about it. And everybody's bitching and moaning and complaining about it. Saying that it just don't work. So, that got me thinking. Got me thinking a lot about, what the hell is this? Huh, it's a freaking range extender. I forgot I bought that for about the Google Home. Anyway, I've been thinking about, um, you know, I use Google Home for my entire setup. Controls the lights, controls the sound systems, controls the Google, the Chromecasts and the TVs. So I can just be like, play Trailer Park Boys on Netflix. 
and if my TV wasn't a pile, I could totally have it set up. There, just get that thing out of the way. I could totally have it set up where the Chromecast would turn on the TV and just start playing Netflix. But my TV is kind of sold, it farts dust. Not as much dust as this lamp has on it, but you know, dust. So it doesn't do that. So what I was thinking is because I use, I'm like all over the place. I use Spotify, which was working great. Now not so much. I was thinking, and I was going to ask you guys, if you have it, how is it, but Google's music service, uh, I think it's just called Google Play or Google Music Play or some shit. I got to clean this thing when it's out there, that's for sure. Big cobwebs on it that were attached to the wall. My goodness. Anyway, I had to grab this low. Is that going to clear the, uh, the gate? Just barely. Just freaking barely. But no, I was going to ask you guys if you use Google's music service. Because I'm thinking if Spotify is having this many freaking problems, I might just say frigate and jump ship over to Google services. Because I'm already using, holy shit, I'm already using enough of their products, so... Why not just unify everything, right? It just makes sense. You know what, where the hell's my all-purpose cleaner? That's upstairs. I'm gonna do myself a favor right now. I know guys, I said I was gonna wait till the weekend, but <sighs> what can I say? Sometimes I get bored. Sometimes when I get bored, I tend to do stuff. And then things happen. Oh, this is a great bottle. High quality dollar store. It's funny, you guys probably remember when I bought this table, because there was a vlog on it. I literally bought it when I set up my couch. This couch here, originally I had it going across that way and facing the TV. And what I wanted it for was to slide underneath the couch so that I could have my laptop right on me. But the problem is, is I didn't account for the fact that it wouldn't fit under the couch. Which is why my parents bought me that TV tray which slides underneath the couch. Which is freaking awesome. But that was before I turned my gym my living room into a gym so yeah anyway I'm gonna get this shit out to the group do these actually spin oh, yeah they spin they just don't like this terrain cool all right I'm gonna jack it up oh yeah I gotta go grab my garbage can I bet you it's full of water now son of all right let's go ahead over here I already put the lamps down. I'm gonna try and walk this thing in. Second. Yeah, those wheels don't work where this shit, eh? Probably caked with dust. Probably just need some cleaning. No big deal. Uh, yeah, I don't know what my friend wants this for. If he wants it for something, so whatever. That's fine. All right. Um, yeah, wear my jacket because I thought it was raining out. Turns out it's not. Whatever. Let's go grab the. Uh, it's actually kind of nice out right now. Yeah, we got some doom and gloom over there, but then you cut back over here and it's all friggin' nice. There's like the moon up there and stuff. Like, it's right there. You can actually see it. No overcast. Not too bad, not too bad, but it's 8.30 at night and I need to get to bed surely. I'm freaking tired. This uh, this workout there, the 90 minute workouts, they uh, really take a toll on you. You burn anywhere from 750 to 900 calories. So it really just rips you a new one, but that's good that that's in here now. So that clears up that space. Uh, should I bring this thing in the house right now? You know what? Let me take a look at how to take off this frame. Looks like it's just Allen keys there and there and there and there. I'm not going to keep the frame on. I'm going to ditch it. Just use the board. That sounds like, like a battle plan. I got to pay attention to where I'm shooting the lens. 
Well, I took the little, I don't know what the heck they're called. Whatever these Allen keyed screws are. It's probably a proper term for it. Don't really care what they are. All I know is I took them off, but this is like kind of pinched in there and it's not coming off, so I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Then I'm kind of questioning how exactly this is attached. I wonder if I take these corner pieces off. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, well I pretty much took all the ones off the top here. And this thing is not letting go. I'm not even sure how this is press fitted in. Like, it looks like this metal part here. Oh, if I can get a focus. You know what, let me flip around it. It'd be a lot easier to see it. So like, it looks like these here are slotted in there, but they'd be a tight bitch. I wonder if I can pry on it somehow. Okay, so brute force wins. I just got a little bit of a situation down here to deal with first, but brute force wins. Have I mentioned that I love my newfound strength? Yeah, yeah, I love it. I remember when that was square. And then I decided to turn into the Hulk and rip it apart. Son of a bitch. Anyway, we freed it. There's my name upside down, because this is my whiteboard. And this is the side that doesn't have shit written all over it. So, this is the side that's going to get bolted to the wall. <laughs> How am I going to bolt it to the wall? Haven't thought that far ahead yet, people. So, I guess right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it into the house. And we'll go from there. What are you doing? Don't bite that. You're stupid. All right, let's bring it in the living room. Just another fun thing to pinch grip. Heavy pieces of board that are slippery. Well, that was weird. I uh, hit something on the camera, which caused it to go into self timer mode, which is a weird mode for this camera because I mainly use it for filming, not for taking pictures. I'm gonna hit record, sat there and start going dee -dee 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 -dee, and then it started recording. This is the old bunny rabbit cage. Yeah, because I totally get rid of things all the time. I'm not a pack rat. I just don't care. But I'm just going to toss that over there for now. I know a friend with a, a guinea pig who might want that when COVID-19 is no longer a thing. So what I'm thinking for this thing here is I just got to lean it up against the wall now because I haven't mounted it yet, obviously. I gotta get this Firebird Trans Am thing off the wall. Is that like flush fit? Oh no, okay. So, I'm gonna probably move this, like I said, um, over here on this wall. I think it would look pretty good over here. You'd see it when you walk in the room and then set that thing up where the Firebird Trans Am poster is. And then if I have uh, a tripod set up, like right here-ish, aimed this way, I could be standing off to the side and I could have the whiteboard and I could be like, if I'm talking about things, can also put down my goals and stuff. Tell me that wipes off. Oh, are you serious? He wrote it with permanent marker. What a freaking dummy. But I do have some dry erase board markers kicking around here somewhere. Some words. Yeah, right here. Nope. That's where there's originals. These are awesome too. I'm gonna bring these upstairs actually because uh, they're fun to eat. I bring them on my bike rides, but they got sorbitol in them, and that stuff there is. Like rolling the dice on when you're gonna shit your pants. What the frig is this from? North State Quality Products. It's like a picture of a kid. Oh, this is from the baby gate. Oh, okay. Okay, well I thought I had dry erase markers up here, but I don't know where the frig they ran off to. Oh, just knocking shit over. Don't mind me, it's okay. Just knocking over supplements and stuff. We're all good. Oh, don't worry. I'm just breaking things. Oh, where the hell did I put those markers? I didn't fire them up there, did I? No. Man, Joss got me those markers from work. And I put them somewhere for safekeeping. And I reminded myself not to forget, but obviously I didn't do a good job of that because holy crap, I forgot. I know they're around here somewhere. Just don't know where. It's all behind the fridge. Hey, mints. I love these things. They're like crack. I don't like crack. But I do like that I found the markers! So we got a package of four markers. Red, blue, green, black. Nice. 
Ugh. Climbing over things is not fun. I'm just gonna give it a quick test run because I like doing that. Okay, I cleaned my name off of it as much as I could, but uh, you wouldn't believe the amount of dry erase boards that get ruined at work because Sharpies look nothing like erasable markers. Let's uh... Hi, cap it, and dry erase it. Hmm. I don't know if it's supposed to stain it. But it do. I wonder if this side is different material then. Maybe it is. Maybe I destroyed it for nothing. Nah, I didn't want that stupid frame on it anyway. There's no mounting points in the frame. It was stupid. Okay, so we got high. Oh yeah, and that comes off like, like ease. So this is a different surface in the back. Dag nabbit. I was kind of hoping they both felt the same. Unless I just didn't do it right. Try, try again. Simple hi. And bye bye. No, it stains it. Hmm. Well, I'm no whiteboard professional, but whatever. Anyway, I'm going to have to engineer a way to mount that thing to the wall anyway, so no big deal. Probably just go get some screws or something or maybe attach something to the back of it with a wire to hang it off the wall or I don't know. I don't freaking know. We'll figure it out. One thing I want to know is, did my ice cream freeze? Currently 919, made it about two hours ago. Currently... Not frozen. Neat. Okay, you go have fun. We'll see how it turns out tomorrow. But guys, I'm going to shut her down here because you see it's 919 and I want to get it to bed in about an hour or so. So I'm going to do myself a solid in the video here. So on that note, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, stay safe. Peace. Freak out. Sit, stupid. Sit. Good dog.